Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And this week we're going to be covering Sun in the seventh house for Libra ascendant people and what happens when Sun is in the seventh house in the sign of Aries, exalted for Libra ascendant folks. Because now this is different from Sun in sign and Sun in house series. Now we're combining two things together. Sun is in a certain house and Sun is in a certain sign, but also certain Sun rules a certain house. Because Sun is controlling the sign of Leo, right? In astrology. So for Libra folks, it rules the 11th house of highest of ambitions, hopes, wishes, desires, achievements, recognition of wards, elder siblings, social welfare, social reform. So now it's sitting in the 7th house, exalted. So what is it doing there? And as always, if you do not know what a Sun and you are, where your Sun is placed, all the other planetary placements for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report including my books, Astrology Conjunction Aspects and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations and reading at this link. So, as I explained to you what 11th house is, it is your highest of ambition. It's known as the Upacha house and the Kama house in astrology. Meaning, Upacha meaning it grows better with time. Especially whenever malefic planets are in the 11th house, they always get better with time. Because through struggles, okay, over time, you get to learn about life. You get to deal with all the things that happen in a person's circumstances. So you get better at dealing with those things. So it improves with time. It's a Kama house. Kama meaning desire. It is the highest of the desire houses. Third house, seventh house and eleventh house is the Kama triangle, the desire triangle. So eleventh house obviously represents great ambition, goals and financial gains, liquid gains, you know. Although in astrology, if you really look at it, it was never considered the greatest house because it was all about material things, material gains, material wealth. And now you are in such a state of existence where 11th house kind of supersedes the 9th house, you know, of religion and spirituality and, and moksha. Although I feel like the transition is like kind of coming back to the 9th house. So here, sun is exalted in the 7th house. 7th house is what? 7th house is religion. Uh, um, religion. Seventh house is marriage, partnership, business, career, mass fame. It is the house of uh, finding raises and promotion in life. So naturally it shows that first of all, this person find, has the highest of ambitions to do business. Their desires come true through business and business partnership, especially with authoritative people. So let's say you're wanting to do business and suddenly you find this author authoritative person, somebody who will used to be some former CEO of a company says, hey, I'll partner with you. Let's let's make this happen. We can make money. That happens. You also find a spouse through which you can start get gains. When spouse comes in your life, gains come in. Wealth come in. Your desires come true. However, on the downside is your spouse will supersede your ego. You will never be able to like um, overpower your spouse. Like, hey, I want you to do this. This is how we're going to do this. This is how we're... They're, they're going to be the one giving you the command. Because now sun is exalted where? In the seventh house. So it's now doing, giving something to your spouse's ego. Because seventh house becomes your spouse's first house. So your spouse becomes very ambitious. Very ambitious person, whether male or female. They want to strive in life. They want to make changes in the world. They want to be part of NGO and, 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 and UN and, you know, just be, be, bring the social reform into play and be in a leadership position. But one of the great things is because, see, Aries is the sign of individuality. Okay? So regardless if sun is there or not, you will always run into a person opposite to you who is less about sharing things who is far less about compromises, diplomacy, liberalism, you will find out a very individualistic spouse, somebody who's all about how do I get my thing first before I give it to other people. I'll give it to other people. But once I have $10 million, I'll do it because then I'll keep $9 million to myself and I'll give $1 million to charity or something. Where opposite to Libra will be like, well, I have $10 million. Maybe let me give six million into charity because all I need is just two, three million and I'll be fine. I'm happy. That's how Libra thinks. It wants to share the wealth. 
Aries does not want to share the wealth. It wants to do things to, your, to itself. But because it's in the seventh house of compromise, right? Partnership. So eventually, Aries will be forced to do that. This is why you will find, especially with sun here, early on in life, you will have a lot of ego battles with your spouse. And also your spouse will be probably some authoritative person, some manager, some leader somewhere. But because sun is at its highest peak, most of the time shows a spouse who might be egoistic, who might be individualistic, but they have this highest of ambition to do something better for the world as a leader. Perhaps wanting to run for office, wanting to run from some local government office. And your ego development depends upon other people. Your highest of ambition depends upon other people, not just your spouse. Your desires will come true through help of other people. Especially people who are very authoritative and kind of like your father figures. And son represents the father. Naturally can show that your father is a great businessman. Your father has been uh, a huge part in development of your ego, of your personality. Why? Because son from the 7th house aspects the 11th house. But the one thing that you see, because 11th house is the house of obstruction, Bhaddakesh house for the sign of Libra, shows a person will get married late. Or will find less arguments and fights in a marriage later in life, when sun calms down. Although at 25, you know, sun matures. So you will, after 25, you'll find a person who is mature, who is good. But again, you know, it's not just one placement that determines uh, one thing in astrology. You got to look at the aspects upon the sun. You got to look at the conjunctions of the sun in this house. Also, you want to see how sun is placed in the chart of marriage, which is Navamsha chart, D9 chart. That will give you a much better picture of uh, what's going to happen. And also shows that the usually these people get into relationship at the age of 25. 31st year of their life, they will find themselves in a re leadership position with the sun. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of sun in the 7th house for Libra sun and people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you don't know where your sun is placed, all your my astrological details, my books, reports, consultations for that, click here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.